Hi everybody, this is Jane from Willow Blue Vintage and welcome to another Tag Team Friday. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this 3D travel tag. So it's quite a simple construction but really effective with her looking like she's sort of peering out of this tear along the edge of the tag. And please excuse my very inky stained hands, they don't look good today. So the materials that you'll need, first of all, print two tags. I used these from the mini ephemera bundle and printed them at five and a half inches tall. I printed this photograph from Instant Ancestors and made her three inches tall. And I had a piece of card just in case I needed to stiffen the photo, but didn't need to use that in the end. You'll need some scissors and a sharp craft knife, a piece of cord, and a glue stick. If you want to distress the tag at the end you could use a piece of sandpaper and I used some distress ink and an applicator. You'll also need a hole punch and something to protect your work surface when you're doing the fussy cutting like a cutting mat. So the first thing to do is roughly cut out your photograph but we need to leave the back part of the photo intact. So the way this um, tag's constructed is that the front part of the photograph is accurately cut out and the back stays in place and that's sandwiched between the two layers of the tag and that's what holds it in place. So I roughly cut it out first and then did lots of very accurate fussy cutting until the front was all really nicely cleanly cut out. Then once I'd um, cut it all out, I held it in place to work out how much of the back I could cut off. So once I worked out exactly where I wanted to put the tear, I used my craft knife just to make a small incision so that I got a starting point to be able to make my rip along the length of the tag. So it doesn't go right through, it starts um, about half an inch from the top or so and ends um, with a gap at the bottom so you're not tearing the actual tag fully. And then once I'd made my tear I just checked that the lady fitted into it properly and then worked out where I needed to fold her. So folding along the edge that's going to be stuck into the tag means that the front part of the tag can come out at an angle, which is what makes it look like she's sort of peeping out, and the other part stays flush to the back of the tag. So I then used my glue stick and took, stuck down the back side part of the photo and then glued the whole of the back of the tag so that I could sandwich the two layers together. Once they were really firmly stuck together, I then just trimmed off the edges where the two layers of tags hadn't completely lined up and then use my hole punch to make the hole for the cord. I then went, went around the edges with my Distress Ink to give that nice aged vintage look. And finally, I attached the cord. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that and I hope you enjoy making your own.